All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. So here we have the Halloween event and Halloween character this year um, on the 25th. Uh, there is going to be a Halloween unit um, awakening, or excuse me, an easy, excuse me, for Oolong and launch. Uh, that's going to be on the 29th, so it's going to be four days away. Um, in a couple of days, we should see the new Dokkan Festival exclusive revealed to us, um, as well as, you know, details, stuff like that. We'll get a data download. We'll have the launch, launch and Oolong in there, as well as the new Dokkan Fest, and, you know, maybe another surprise or something. We'll see. Typically, this is kind of like a very low-hype, like, dead part of the year, but, I mean, so far, October, I mean, maybe the characters haven't been the best, but I would say that content-wise and stuff to do has actually been stacked, new updates and things like that. Global, of course, with all the Roshi content just shoveled in here, too, it feels like the most content-rich time, like, ever, basically. And then I think where we might see a dead period at the start of November, um, Global might get um, the Jiren stuff added in right there, which which will be good. So it's going to feel a lot less dead than it might otherwise, you know, might be next year, for example. All right, so we have this new event, only two stages. Oh, Candy Cane. Okay. Uh, let's take a look what we got here. So this is the new free-to-play unit. This, this character is Goten and... Icarus Jr. is the card that we've got right here. Seems like a decent-ish free-to-play character. Um, he doesn't seem like he's... Uh, uh, he just seems solid, right? Like, you know, we got some HP regen. We got some defense. We got some damage reduction. Like, he's got some stuff. Um, kind of going to be an important bond of friendship category character, potentially. Right? I mean, we toss a full dodge build on this boy and, you know, put him in, like, slot three or something like that. Let him get some defense for two turns. I'll take that. I uh, The influx of multiple turn support type units, obviously, very good. All right, so Bond of Friendship gives us the increased drop rates. Um, we can get, yeah, dude, candy canes. That's fire. Okay, cool, cool. We can get some candy canes, nice. Uh, there's Goten. The, of course, there's the medals. Uh, and then we can get Icarus items, and then the Bull item, and then Baba items as well. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Bond of Friendship is the increased shop rates. Okay. <clears throat> Let's, uh, go ahead and jump in. Uh, the Halloween, you know, festivities, it doesn't seem the craziest. Oh, actually, here, let, let me do the stages, and I do just want to quickly go over the... There's also, uh, other missions, like, I, I guess Halloween special missions or something like that, which goes from the 24th, you know, based today... Uh, up until the 6th of November. Uh, oh, it's a uh, bond of friendship, right? Okay, let me just go ahead and build up uh, a quick team for us to go ahead and knock down bond of friendship here. All right, guys, we'll jump in with something like this. Um, obviously, you want to use full LRs um, in order to get, you know, the maximum uh, drop rate increase. But, you know, I wanted to get some uses for, like, you know, Kid Trunks, Great Saiyan, and the Trunks, Goten, and Marin. Right, these units I don't really use too much. Let's just, let's let's bump the numbers up a little bit. Uh, I do like looking at that, that sub page. It shows how many times I've used every character. All right, now remember, as Dokkan, we go through in years, too. We're going to start to get much better arts that they could use for this, right? So, like, that Goten right there was the LR Trunks and Goten art. This Gohan, correct me if I'm wrong, this is from Videl's unit super attack. That Gohan right there, I believe, right? Or is it from her... Her active skill trans... No, it's from her active skill transformation. That's what it is, right? When she goes to short hair? I think so. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see a lot more, um, you know, fresh art and stuff like that show up. So all of this, this is just going to be like Oolong items, Baba items, Icarus items dropping from these. Okay. So I don't know if they're going to be that important. I mean, I guess if you're... Icarus is definitely a very valuable item. Right? Like, remember, I, you know, do all these showcases and events and stuff like that, and it's always, you know, with no items. It is always, you know, the way I'm going about it. But remember, you guys don't feel the need to hold yourselves to my personal restrictions I do. Plus, I like to not use items so I could see characters' strengths and weaknesses. Because once you introduce items, it will just remove a character's weaknesses and leave only their strengths. It's kind of, like, I, I just am evaluating characters. Blah, 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 right? But the point is, getting Icarus items, um, that's a very powerful item, the Icarus item. Uh, you know, what is it, 35% damage reduction for two turns? Is that what it is? Dog, it's been a long time since I've been, like, um, you know, using items. I think it's it's 35% damage reduction for two turns, and then the Whis is 
40% damage reduction for two turns, right? Let me double check that. Make sure I'm not giving out nasty misinformation. Yeah, Icarus Hero. I'm gonna I'm gonna pop this up on screen. 35% damage reduction for two turns. Yeah, very good item, right? Like, remember, so a character like LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, who is horrible these days, when you put a Icarus up, that's just additive damage reduction. So then all of a sudden, LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, his damage reduction is insane. You know, it's it's he's all of a sudden way tankier, right? Like, stuff like that um, can allow some of these characters to kind of hang in the mix. So, all right, yep, loading, loading, loading. Thank you. All right, now we didn't get um, any goats and an Icarus drops, unfortunately. We did get the candy canes, though. The candy canes is pretty fire. I mean, those are definitely a really nice training item right there. All right, let me flip back over a second. Here's the Icarus item. 35% damage reduction for two turns. That's quite good. Um, and then the Wii item, obviously, is very good as well. That's... Huh? Where is it? It's not a gold? Uh, hold on. Yeah, here's the Wii item. It was in the silver section. Uh, 40% damage reduction for two turns. So, I mean, that's pretty much like one of the, one of the best items right there, right? That, that's, that's really, really good. All right, so we got the first stage done. Let's do the second stage. Let me take a look at the missions. What are the missions for this event? Is there anything notable that I need to talk about? All right, yep, we'll just go right back in just like this. All right, let's see. Uh, Goten and Icarus. And this stage is just... Oh my god, is that the... The... Oh, damn it. What What is that? Um, damn it. It's, it's like Tiger... I think it might just be like Tiger Warrior or something like that, right? This guy? This is from, like, episode two of Dragon Ball. It's... No, I think it's 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 episode three. It's the start of episode three. This guy wants to eat um, Turtle when Goku is, is bringing him back to the ocean. Ah, OG Dragon Ball is so fire, man. Uh, I'm looking for this Goten and Icarus event here. We'll let um, Trunks, Goten, and Marin get the blow here. All right, I might pause in a second to find this Goten. Oh, I found it. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll take a look at the missions here, too. Surprise reunion, the dragon family. Yeah, remember, Icarus first shows up in the Tree of Might movie. Um, because when they first send out, what is it, like their scouting robot to see, like, if the planet is good for the Tree of Might or whatever, it, like, destroys a forest. And Icarus kind of gets, like, you know like separated from like the forest where he was at and then that's kind of like he befriends gohan and then it's funny like the turles movie does not fit in like the timeline it does it, it can't fit in the timeline um but then icarus shows up um during the i think there's two filler parts he shows up in maybe more but he does show up during the garlic jr saga um and then i believe icarus is also there the, the driving filler. When Goku and Piccolo get their driving license, I believe Icarus is in that episode as well. Gohan and Icarus are watching Goku and Piccolo uh, do their tests. I, I believe, I believe. It's actually... Damn, all of a sudden, it's been a couple of years since I watched Dragon Ball. Man. Look at me, I'm falling off. That's because we're... Because we're on to, on to Daima, baby. Say it with me. On to Daima. That's what we're at. Okay, so here's where we get the medals. I, I think I'm going to pause in a second and we'll we'll grind up... Rainbow, Goten, and Icarus Jr. Uh, again, just one of these free-to-play characters. Even the biggest anti-dodge person I don't think would disagree with the notion of giving a free-to-play character dodge. What is his super attack effect? It's good. 50% attack and defense for one turn, then greatly lowers defense. I'll take it. 50% defense is solid, but we go in full dodge, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, hell yes, dude. We sure are. Absolutely. All right, this is loading forever, dude. Here, let's just swap over. I'm not waiting for that damn loading anymore. I'm so tired of Dokkan loading. All right, so clear stage one once. Uh, level of super attack up to two? Okay. Get him to SA-10 and then Dokkan awaken him. Okay. All right, well, let me just go ahead and get, uh, you know, Goten all the way grinded up. And we'll, I guess, come right back. Wait, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Before I start the grind, why don't I just accept the missions, including... One of the Goten and Icarus is right there, so I don't actually have to grind them up. Okay, there we go. So there's our there's our Goten and Icarus. Um, all right, so I'll come right back uh, once the grind is done. All right, guys, we should be good to go. We have Goten all ready to go here. Let's go ahead and give Goten the Rainbow Star. 
Uh, I guess actually I should, probably should do a kind of weaken him first, because we'll... I, I mean, I, well, I mean, full dodge. What a shock. I mean, it's a free-to-play support character. Like, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing here. Um, let's go ahead and give him his Dokkan Awakening as well. And then now we have a new named character. Goten and Icarus Jr. Pretty good. I always do love that they give us uh, a lot of different named characters like this. I think it's a good thing. Um, you know, after some of the Broly and Fusion Zamasu um, issues of the past, uh, you know, now we're going to have a lot more characters like this. I mean, the simple solution, which I don't think would be ridiculous at this point in Dokkan's lifespan, is just make characters link together even when they have the same name. Boom. Easy. Problem solved. <laughs> That's all it takes, dude. It's actually not tough at all. That's literally all they have to do. So, there we go. Uh, we got our boy Icarus uh, Jr. and Goten. Uh, I'll go ahead and get to grinding him up. Oh, let's grab the missions real quick, and then we can finish up. Uh, there was some 10th anniversary missions as well. I I'm gonna, I guess, that do some content on some of these. Some actually, like, challenge mission type things. There's a, a fan anniversary event for Part 1 for Global. Uh, 10th anniversary Part 1 is the Global uh, fan meetup. For part two, JP is getting the fan meetup. So I think that's actually pretty good. Uh, there's different conditions to get there, though. For global, it's, you know, getting high in, you know, one of the burst modes. Uh, for JP, it's, you know, uh, uh, doing these missions, the, the 10th anniversary missions over here. Oh, nice. Okay, so we got this done. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and hit this right here. Um, well, I'm going to go over these in, in one second. I want to talk about those in this video. And then there is the uh, Goten and Icarus Jr. missions as well. Decent. Wait, what? Okay. Decent right there. Um, now here, let me just flip over and just talk about these and look at these. So if we jump over. Um, so here's these. So beat the event once. Uh, clear stages up to 10 times. Get a character. Obviously the Goten and Icarus Jr. Level them up to uh, SA-10. Dokkan Awaken a character. Use support memory three times. Clear a stage while taking no damage five times. And then complete all the missions. And, you know, a little bit of some some rewards and stuff like that. Sure. Um, and then that's that's that right there. Okay. And then the last thing I did kind of want to point out. Again, we're I'm going to cover this in a separate video. We'll talk about this. The uh, missions to get to the 10th anniversary JP fan meetup right there. Right? Which is those right there. We'll, we'll get to that though. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all next time.